Hello. Today we'll be talking about how to expose additional list views in the Field Service Lightning mobile app and how to set up a default list view. If your organization doesn't use Field Service Lightning or you'd like to learn more about it, check out our help portal at help.salesforce.com. First, we'll start by switching to the classic UI in order to better edit the list view. We'll start by going to the Service Appointments tab and creating a new list view here. We'll call our list view Today's Appointments. Take note of the unique name or the API name as we'll need that later. Specify the filter criteria so that only the assigned to me service appointments will display for the users. In the Field Service Lightning mobile app, there's a calendar option that will appear. That option only appears after filtering by the scheduled start date. In this case, we'll filter by scheduled start equals today. Ensure that the right fields are available for your users and selected when they see the service point or when they see the list view. Lastly, we'll ensure that the list view is visible to all users so our technicians will be able to see the list view in the mobile app. And we'll click save. Next, we'll switch back into Lightning Experience and go to the Setup section. We'll search for the Field Service Lightning mobile settings that appear here. We'll edit these settings and input the API name of the list view that we just created. And we'll click Save. And now you're all set. The Field Service Lightning mobile app should now display all of the list views that users have access to, including the one that we just created. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, again, the Salesforce help portal is the best place to start. Uh, we've got some incredible resources, including communities, our documentation, trailheads, and of course, you can always contact Salesforce support there. Happy trailblazing.